What's up everyone? It's the Level Up Black Man here with the Level Up Society. And today I wanna to talk to you about why I decided to delete my social media and how my life has changed since I decided to do so. For full disclosure, I completely deactivated both my Facebook and Twitter, and I deleted my Instagram app off of my phone. I still communicate with a handful of people through my DMs and Instagram. I use the browser version, but I don't like comment, post, or use Instagram for really anything else. So what has changed since I deleted my social media? The first thing is that my productivity drastically increased. The average person spends about two and a half hours on social media. And when you do the math, that adds up to almost 10,000 hours over the course of a decade. And they say that 10,000 hours is about the amount of time that it takes for someone to achieve expertise in a skill set. This means that the time that is spent on social media is time that could otherwise be spent gaining fluency in a foreign language or learning how to cook or becoming proficient in some other thing that helps us to become much more productive members of society. I truly believe that time is one of our most valuable resources, and once it's gone, we can never get it back. As someone who is in his 30s, I would say that I'm in a pretty good place in life. I'm not struggling at all, really, but I do think about how my life would be if I spent my time in my 20s even more productively than I did. I wish I would have picked up fluency in a couple of foreign languages and dedicated more time to becoming proficient in a hard skill like coding or something like that. But the one thing that I did do was spend a lot of my time on social media consuming pointless content and engaging in conversations that didn't really mean anything in the grand scheme of things. So since I deleted my social media, I've been using my time much more productively. I started this YouTube channel, which is something that I've been putting off for the last six months or so. I've also been reading a lot more. I'm currently reading this book, Metabolical, The Lore and Lies of Processed Food, Nutrition, and Modern Medicine by Robert Lustig. And I'm also reading Winning Through Intimidation by Robert Ringer. And for those like myself who struggle with ADHD or other neuroatypical conditions, then I would go as far as to say that the benefits of getting rid of social media are amplified exponentially. By cutting off the source of much of my distractions, I've created much more mental space and clarity to focus more of my time and energy on my ambitions of building multiple revenue streams, researching investment opportunities, ultimately achieving total financial freedom and being in a position to retire from corporate America before I turn 40, if I choose to do so. Secondly, my sense of self and my sense of reality has improved. My personal opinion is that social media is, well, it's full of clout chasers. There are a lot of people out there who want to become famous or become influencers just for the sake of being an influencer. So they specially craft an online brand or persona that may not be a true reflection of who they really are. People spend a lot of time on social media chasing likes as well as validation and ego boosts from complete strangers. Social media clout is the new status symbol. And I find that people not only spend a lot of time curating online personas that reflect the perfect lifestyle, but they also seem to tie their sense of self-worth and purpose to their online presence. And look, if that's what people wanna do, then let them do it. But I see those kinds of behaviors as being antithetical to my own life goals of being happy with myself, not seeking approval from others, and being 100% true to who I am. So by deleting my social media, I have completely blocked that kind of energy out of my life. I'm all about introspection and self-reliance, and I certainly don't want anything to do with the idea of my self-worth being contingent on the approval and opinions of others. Also, by deleting social media, I have effectively eliminated people's ability to to present me with carefully crafted online brands and personas that could lead me to have distorted perceptions of people, myself, and the world in general. So third, I feel all around better and happier. Now I can go down the list of the negative impacts that social media has on people's happiness. The studies have shown that it raises anxiety, depression, and it impacts our sleep cycles to the point of diminishing our mental and physical well-being. And I think that part of this is because as humans, we always want 
more. And seeing other people have more, whether that's better looks, material possessions, lifestyle, or whatever, it makes us draw comparisons to people who are in totally different situations than we may be in. And it promotes a digital version of keeping up with the Joneses. And it's easy to get caught up into sinking a lot of time and money into things to try to mimic the people that we see on social media. But the online world oftentimes presents us with a false reality and consistently promotes beauty standards that are rather unhuman. And then there's also tons of people who appear to be living the good life, always on vacations in some far off tropical destination, doing some cliche pose, looking off into the distance. These things create a fear of missing out. It triggers a fight or flight response, contributing to chronic stress and giving us more reason to hate our own lives and envy the lives of others. It's basically mind pollution and that constant exposure builds up and over time, it actually rewires the reward center in our brain, making it more difficult for us to feel happy or content. I always knew in the back of my mind that I will never get the time spent on social media back. And when I'm much older, I will regret throwing all of that time away way instead of focusing on connecting with the real world and being present in my environment. So now I generally feel happier. I no longer have the means to draw comparisons to random people living on the fringes of my life. And I also no longer get this constant feed of content that triggers all kinds of negative feelings. And I generally have a greater satisfaction with life because I know that I'm spending the limited time that I do have on this planet doing more meaningful things and having more substantive interactions. Third is that I'm doing a much better job at forming my own opinions. The Pew Research Center has shown that the majority of millennials and Gen Zers get most of their news from social media. They've also noted that people who get their information mostly from social media are more susceptible to false information. And I think that makes sense because literally anybody on these platforms can add their two cents to a conversation. The problem is that by taking news and information from social media, I was receiving a narrative that was crafted before I even had the opportunity to form my own objective conclusions. It's someone else's interpretation of events. And I can't always be sure of the motives behind the people that are forming these narratives. For people who are trying to promote their cause or just trying to make some money, one of the best things that they can do is put information out there into the world that will make people angry or scared or resentful because this is the type of content that's most likely to be shared and end up going viral. It's also perpetuated by algorithms that that only really care about driving up engagement numbers. Therefore, they conveniently segment and funnel the information to groups who are also likely to get triggered by whatever they see or read, and then they share it again. This creates echo chambers and feedback loops that drives divisiveness and ends up leaving people feeling like other people are basically less than human or are somehow enemies. This is not only bad for the fabric of society, but I also found it to be bad for my own sanity and mental health. So without the never ending discourse that social media perpetuates, I've effectively removed myself from those bubbles and echo chambers where groupthink has become the norm. Now, when I come across information or new people, I have far fewer external forces that influence my opinions. I have to rely on my own experiences and rationalizations to draw conclusions about other people and about the world in general. I control the narrative. So lastly, deleting my social media has helped me to scrub and clean up my social circles. I find that people can take your presence for granted. With the click of a button, they're checking in on your life without actually checking up on you. It gives people access to your life even though they don't really deserve to have that kind of access. Not everyone is willing to put in the effort to be a genuine connection. By deleting social media, you become accessible only to the people who are deliberate and intentional about their decision to interact with you. So since I deleted my social media, nothing has changed with my closest friends, but a lot of people on the fringes have disappeared. A handful of people have reached out saying, hey, I haven't heard from you in a while. 
let's catch up, let's hang out or something like that. So in a sense, it has forced people to decide to be a part of my life. Deleting my social media has definitely made my circle smaller, but has certainly amplified my relationships with that smaller group of people because I'm forced to nurture relationships in a more authentic way instead of relying on the crutch of social media, which has turned people into a commodity. And now I have a better sense of where to prioritize my time and attention. This is the Level Up Society, where we discuss all things about self-improvement and becoming the best version of yourself. If you like the content in this video, please go ahead and click the thumbs up button and subscribe. And until next time, I will see you later.